Let's take a look at how to create a budget and import a budget using the GP Excel Budgeting Wizard. Under the Financial Series, under Cards, I'll select Budgets. I can actually see a list of all the budgets that already exist, but I want to create a new budget for the year 2014. So I'll simply click on New and I have two options. To create a budget within GP using GP, where I'll actually create a budget one account number at a time, or I could use the Excel Budgeting Wizard and create a budget for all accounts or a particular range of accounts at one time. In the Budget Wizard, I'll click on Next and give the budget an ID. I'm going to give this budget the name 2014 and a description called Budget 2014. I'm then asked if I want to create a budget for a fiscal year or a date range. A date range can extend beyond a fiscal year into two or three fiscal years or can include a partial fiscal year. I'm going to create the budget for the entire fiscal year 2014 and I can only create budgets for open years. Then I'll click on Next. The question that comes up next is on the calculation method. I can create a blank budget or I can create a budget based on a percent of either an open year, another budget, or historical year. I'm going to choose a blank budget. I can then choose to add historical information on other spreadsheets or open information. I'm going to include the year 2013. This will aid me in creating my budget, giving me the ability within Excel to look at how expenses occurred in other fiscal years. I choose whether I want balance sheet, profit and loss accounts, or unit accounts in my Excel budgeting wizard. I just want profit and loss accounts, so I'll click on Next and then I can narrow down the range of accounts or choose all accounts. I just want to choose for the department accounting. So I'm going to choose segment one which indicates department and then I'll choose accounting which is department 200. Whoops. And then I'll insert it into my range and click next. It'll then choose to list all of the accounts within that range or all of the accounts that are in department 200. I can choose to unselect certain items. For example, if I'm giving this to a department head, I'm not going to give them the ability to budget for payroll accounts, but I will give them the ability to budget for other accounts. I can even click on Add Account and add another account within the system. Here's my entire chart of accounts. So to select another one, I'll just simply select it and then click on Select. But I don't want this one either, so I'm going to unselect it as well and click Next. I'm then prompted to either create a new workbook or an existing workbook. I want this in a new workbook, so I'll click on Next. I'll verify my specifications that I selected on previous windows and click Finish. The budget is now actually going to pop up in Excel, giving me the option to Save As. Okay, so I'm going to choose Save As and just pop it in here. save it as 2014. Now the budgets creating in Excel are in Dynamics and it is creating an Excel file at the same time, sending both a blank budget and a historical year budget as well. So on my spreadsheet I have a 2014 tab where I can see all of my budgets for all those accounts all the way across with totals and I see a 2013 tab where I can see actual historical data. And I can see for training in period one I had $500. Let's go back to GP for a moment in our budget selection wizard and I'll scroll up and now I can see I have a budget and the Excel denotes that it was actually created with Excel and it has an Excel link attached to it. I'm going to choose to open in Dynamics GP and I'm going to put in the training account number. And as you can see, it created the budget, but it's all zero. I'm going to close that back out, go back to Excel, and in period one, I'm going to put in $600, because last year I spent $500 in January for training. This year, I expect to spend $600. I'll choose to save and go back to Dynamics GP. From here, I'm going to choose to import the changes I made from the budget. So under Excel, I'll choose Import from Excel. 
and select Next on the Budget Wizard, and it'll prompt me, do I want to import into a new budget or an existing? And I've already created my budget, so I'm going to choose Existing, and I'll select 2014 and choose Next. Then it prompts me to locate the Excel file I want to import from. There it is. And then it'll list all the worksheets in that file. I want to import the 2014 worksheet. I verify my specifications and click Finish. Keep in mind, if you're importing changes to a budget, if the Excel file you're importing has a zero, GP does not assume you want to make that budget number zero. It assumes that you are not making a change to that budget. So keep that in mind. So now, under my budget, I'm all finished. If I go back and open up my training account, I now have $600 in my budget. The only other thing you need to keep in mind when you're working in this is that you can change the format in Excel and if you're importing in revenues you want to key those in as negative numbers because the determination of whether it's a positive or a negative is a debit or credit. Positive or debits, negative or credits. Hope this helps. Thank you.